Alright, we're ready. Tanisha. Should we do a track? Should we put one down? People would know me in the opera house as an operatic countertenor, especially my work with composers like Handel and Monteverdi and Cavalli. Um, but, and I really do very few recitals, uh, but I love to do them as much as I can, concerts and recitals. And this particular program with lute, I've always wanted to do a lute song recital. The last page again, huh? I feel like we should just do the last page separately. Because it's still, it's still, it doesn't really settle, doesn't it? Does it? Yeah, but that's so bad. I, I can't get back to a flat side. <laughs> just unusual for me. The idea for Lunar Sea really goes back about 15 years when I was in conservatory. And I was handed uh, a few pieces by my then teacher, Charles Brett, who's a countertenor, uh, two pieces that were modern pieces that were written for him, uh, which are the Rory Boyle pieces that are on the CD. And uh, the first one, obviously, is a sonnet found in a madhouse. So um, that was one idea, and I put that in a pile, uh, and I thought I would like to do these sometime. And then also in conservatory, I was listening to James Bowman's recording of The Lunar Beauty, which are very, it's a very beautiful setting. I was struck by them, which he recorded with guitar, but then I found the original manuscript in the Royal College and saw that it was originally written for countertenor and lute. So I put that in another pile. And of course, you have the theme of the moon. And between the moon at madness and these two modern pieces, written for countertenor and lute, I began to construct this program based on madness and the moon, the interactions between them, adding uh, earlier pieces, obviously proper Elizabethan lute songs by Dowland Campion, and little Purcell. Uh, of course, Purcell is known for his mad songs, and I enjoy singing them very much, and that gives me a chance to air my theatrical side. And then, of course, I thought, why not, if we're going to do some modern pieces and some Elizabethan pieces, let's try something in between. So we added the Schumann and uh, the Mozart and uh, the Herbert Howells piece, which is an early 20th century piece. He's a composer I love very much and whose music I sang in the church as part of many, many church choirs. That's part of my formation as a countertenor, just as much as my operatic training. We do, I guess, four centuries covering four centuries. It's really a program. Um, and I think, I think the idea was to really, I think people have an idea of what a lute song is or what a lute song recital is or what a countertenor singing with a lute is. Um, and I wanted to show that there's quite a, a, a versatility 
uh, not only in me as a singer, but particularly in Shizuko, and um, to show the, the range of colors and the possibilities in a lute. Now, Shizuko on the program uses two different lutes, a Renaissance lute and an arch lute, um, and uh, the arch lute she uses for maybe the more dramatic pieces. And I think, I think you can see that you can do a, a variety of music carefully chosen for the lute. And I, th I, think, um, I think performing these pieces with the lute, particularly the Schumann, um, gives you a, a different perspective on it because I think we've heard maybe Montnach, for example, so often sung in a recital, a Liederabend with piano, that I think uh, performing music is sometimes always about performing it in a different way, in a different context to make people's uh, ears come alive and to listen to it in a new way. So why did I choose the title Lunarcy for this CD? Um, as you know, may or may not know, about four years back, I did another CD called Birdland, which was William Byrd and Purcell, a vial concert music performed on saxophones. And this was spelled B-Y-R-D-L-A-N-D, so it was a bit of a double pun. I seem to like those. Um, I don't think this is quite a pun, but lunacy, uh, for an English speaker, lunacy, of course, is madness and you have lunar, the association with the moon. Now the moon is built into the etymology of lunacy, but I just wanted to slightly, I suppose, tweak the word lunacy by putting the R in to slightly make it a bit of a strange word and maybe slightly more approximate this, really this duality between, in the program between the moon and madness that I wanted. So perhaps it's a bad pun, another bad pun, but I like to think of it as an interesting uh, neologism in English. <laughs>